Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the final week of July 2022. I do hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to take a quick second just to remind everyone that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. If you find that that's your situation, please check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate better. Also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop and so if you find yourself resonating more with what's being said on the opposite side, um, just go with that. Take what resonates. Um, also, not everything in the reading is going to resonate. It's literally for thousands of people. And so, therefore, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If you are interested in a personal reading, that information can be found in the small box that's located beneath this reading. So, Libra, let's get started. Can you bring me the energy of Libra? Libra. Okay. Libra, you are starting out with the King of Wands in the reverse. We have the Strength card in the reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Libra, um, there's a matter of love here that your fear is keeping you from doing anything you're it's like you're frozen in fear um there is someone here that you have deep emotions for but you your fear is it's ruling you and it's preventing you from taking any kind of action here let's see who might be in your energy show me who is in libra's energy please Okay, so we have the five of coins. We have the lovers. Could be dealing with a soulmate. Um, Gemini energy. We have judgment in reverse and the knave of swords. Okay. Okay, so this is somebody that they do have feelings for you, Libra. But they're feeling abandoned. They're feeling as if they're on, you know, the outside looking in. Um, they may also feel like you've kind of demonized them in a sense. This is somebody that uh, I feel like you have some vast differences with this person. Uh, the two of you could be very opposite of each other. Or something about you could be very opposite. You could be of different um, religions, vastly different ages, um, or perhaps different uh, different race. But there is a there's something here that's a big difference between the two of you. Um, they do have feelings for you, and they, for some of them, this person may have. A big decision that they're making um, it could be between two people uh, doesn't necessarily have to be though with um, the Knave of Swords I do feel like there's a sense of curiosity as to what is going on with you um, and I feel like they may be questioning you know they may be questioning the connection, whether or not this connection, being in connection, having these feelings, um, perhaps it was a, a poor judgment call for them, that they made a bad judgment call here. And I think that they're searching, they're searching for answers um, because they may feel they've made a bad judgment call um, with regard to this connection so they may they may also want to have um, conversation with you or they may have had conversation with you we'll clarify that let's see the uh, energy between the two of you I feel like if you're 
you may be passionate towards this person, but you, you're not showing it. You're holding that back. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that is a strong spiritual connection or a soulmate. Um, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like Libra, you you do a lot of daydreaming about this person. You look back at this person a lot. You or this uh, the memories. So right now you're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of looking back. Um, some of the the things that you think about are the way things could go or could have gone um, times when things could have gone differently um, possibilities I see possibilities there but I don't see you taking any action with regard to that um, the person that you are connected with they're just very unhappy there's a sense of uh, no emotional fulfillment here. Um, they don't feel that the two of you are on the same page, but they would like to be. There's a lack of happiness. Uh, let's see what's directly affecting the connection. The two of pentacles. There may be a decision that needs to be made. Um, this also has a lot to do with balancing things, you know, bringing things into balance, bringing the connection into balance. What's inhibiting that is on your side is this lack of action and fear. And on their side, um, it could be the differences, the big differences between the two of you, this feeling of abandonment and they may feel as if, like I said, that you are in some way, and I'm not saying you are Libra, I'm, I'm saying that they may feel that you have in some way, um, I, I hear demonized them. Um, and the feel that I get from that is that you, you have like, uh, said or done something to have others view them negatively but I don't see that in your energy uh, for some what's causing this lack of imbalance also has to do with uh, this person may have choices here they may be choosing um, between you and someone else uh, let's see what the outcome is at the end of the week I do see a choice, but the choice is being affected by trying to bring things into balance. All right, so we have temperance in reverse and the hermit in reverse. Again, I'm seeing that lack of balance, um, especially with regard to emotions. And I see a lot, I see it on both sides, actually. So Libra, I'm seeing it a lot on your side. And it has to do with that fear. For them, it's as if uh, they have been searching for answers, but there's still a, a lot of confusion here. They're trying to heal from this, this, uh, this connection. They're trying to heal their energy. I, I feel like uh, the two of you may not be in, for a lot of you, you're not talking. Because I see you taking no action and I feel that they feel abandoned and they want to talk. Um, they, they have spent a lot of time in solitude and I feel trying to figure things out. And the more they try to figure it out, the more confused they become. It's like their entire world is like shifted upside down. And for you, there's this sense of, you know, just everything being emotionally out of whack. And that's where I'm seeing this, you know, end of the week energy. So I can also see that the person that you have are in connection with, there's a, they may reach out to you. Uh, but they feel like reaching out would be a poor judgment call. It would be a, a, you know, that wouldn't be the best thing to do. 
They may reach out, though. I don't know. I know that they're healing. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is air sign energy. Um, it is in the reverse, so this is underlying energy, and it tells me that you're not in your highest vibration right now, Libra, and that is affecting all of this. And that would make sense because fear is not a high vibrational energy. You could also be dealing with another air sign, which would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Another Libra like yourself, possibly. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the King of Wands here? I see Gemini very strongly. Sagittarius is here. Virgo is here. There it is again. Very strong message of fear here. All right, so we have strength in reverse, and we have the star. You're going back and forth. You're not taking any action because of the fear, but you're still hoping things balance out. So you're hopeful. You want things to balance out. You stay up in your head thinking about the memories a lot, but you're, you're not taking any action because you're fear-based. Uh, let's let's clarify that. Let's see why the strength card is in reverse. I feel like you're afraid of being hurt. There's that two of coins. Bam. Again. So when I get cards that are duplicating themselves in the reading, that tells me it's a very, very strong message. Okay, we have the moon in reverse. We have the two of pentacles. So it's going to be revealed to you um, how to bring balance into this, the decision, um, what to do to bring balance into the connection is going to be revealed to you. You're going to have an epiphany. You're going to have some kind of information that's going to be revealed. And once it is, that's going to help you to make this decision. It's going to help you to bring balance in. Yeah, and you may also receive information regarding this fear-based state that will help you to bring balance. Let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you hold this person in a very high regard. Um, you put this person on a pedestal, Libra. So I can see you want to overcome the problems. And, you know, you, you feel that this connection could be very... It could entail everything. It could be like an ideal connection. You do put this person on a pedestal. You, you, you see them as being... Um, really prosperous if they're a mother you feel that they're a good mother uh, or father um, if they are you know in the business world you feel that they are really prosperous in the business world um, you just feel like this person is you know very worthy is what I'm seeing and you do have feelings for this person I also feel like there could be some kind of an outside influence that's affecting this connection. And if there is, you want to overcome any of those outside influences. You want to be able to resolve any problems within the connection and also any outside influences that is affecting the connection. So I, I can see that you you want to resolve problems, you have feelings for this person, but yet you're frozen in this fear energy, so you're not doing anything. You're going to receive some sort of epiphany, some sort of information, or, you know, see something, hear something. It's going to bring you clarity, though, and you'll be able to, 
know what to do to balance this out. Uh, let's look at their energy. I see uh, strong Libra is here, uh, such as yourself, and I also see sign of Taurus. Um, why is the why is the five of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands reversed, Four of Cups. Yeah, they feel like you're ignoring them, Libra. They feel like uh, things ended between the two of you. There's no action being taken, and that that uh, you're ignoring them. They're ignoring you. Um, there's this sense of abandonment and isolation, and they're not happy with the the way things are. Why is the lovers here? Page of Swords. Repeating energy again. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they may be looking at your social media. They might be, um, you know, if they live close to you, they could be like driving past your house or... Um, checking up on you, not in a creepy kind of way. They're just curious. They're they're wondering what's going on with you. Um, I do feel like they definitely want to talk. There's definite signs that they would like communication. Uh, they they may feel that you're a bit of a player, Libra. I'm not gonna lie. There's a energy here that they think that you might be a player. I do see that age difference again for some of you and I feel like there's an indication too that the energy here between the two of you they feel is um, it's uh, off again on again off again on again so if the if you do talk what they want to discuss is that energy why are things on again, off again? They may want to discuss these differences between the two of you. Um, if they feel you're being a player, they may want to talk about that. But they also want to talk about the strong connection, the strong attraction that is there between the two of you. Uh, soulmate energy between the two of you or a spiritual connection possibly so they definitely would like to talk to you I feel like both of you are weighing up the pros and cons of of you know for them it's the pros and cons of having a discussion of talking um, you know about these topics uh, for you it's you're kind of there's something you might want to be revealing to this person, something you're holding back, something that you're not, you haven't told them. So you may be weighing up the pros and cons of telling them something or revealing something that you've kept to yourself that you've been afraid to tell them. Let's, uh, let's look at the bottom energy. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you Libras are holding back something and you're trying to figure out if you need to tell this person something um, you're, that you've been afraid to tell them. Page of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Yeah, they're giving up hope. There's a, they feel like they've made a bad judgment call and that they're, they're giving up hope. They feel like talking, reaching out would be a bad judgment call. They're giving up hope that you're going to reach out. Um, I feel like uh, they... It's like they're trying to accept this ending, Libra. This is the energy of somebody who is trying to accept the ending and they feel like 
they're trying to figure out was this entire thing just a bad judgment call on their on their side um, and I think that this person may have they de definitely want to talk they may have waited for you to come forward and now they've given up on that or they ha they're either giving up on it or have given up on it um, they don't feel that uh, that that's going to happen they've been very hurt the ending hurt them deeply they want you to know that yeah but they've given up they've given up on you coming forward and they feel like it would be a poor judgment for them to come forward but it doesn't stop them from wanting it hmm Let's look at the connection. Okay. All right, we have the Seven of Swords reversed. We have the Ace of Swords reversed. And we have the Chariot in reverse. Yeah, I don't see the two of you talking uh, at this time. I don't. I feel like you're you're kind of um, you're sitting in this in inaction, Libra, kind of hoping and wishing. But um, either you found out something that you feel like they they were deceitful in some way or or perhaps you're afraid that they're going to find out something it might be for some of you whatever this is that you've you've kept hidden and you're questioning if you should tell them i think that ultimately you're going to to not tell them neither of you have clarity with what's going on with each other um i don't see the two of you talking right now and I see also that, um, so you're spending a lot of time in memories, basically. And they're feeling very stuck. The ending has made them very unhappy. And they're feeling very stuck. They feel that this was a missed opportunity between the two of you. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles. Because this is what's directly affecting this connection. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So the Nine of Pentacles reverse has to do with loss, but it also has to do with being ready for a connection, ready for a relationship. For some of you, it has to do with already being in a relationship. You're weighing up the pros and cons as to reveal some of these things. So some of you may ha may be in a, a either a new relationship or already in an, an existing relationship. And you're questioning if you need to bring that forward. You need to have that discussion. You're fearful of what that's going to to do, if you if you do. For the person that you're connected with, Libra, um, they just feel that this is not working out. It's too erratic. It's too uh, the energy is too mixed. It's too on again, off again. They want to talk, but they feel like even that's not working. So what's affecting the connection is the there's a balance here. And both parties trying to weigh out pros and cons. For them, the pros and cons of communicating, which they're ultimately deciding is a, is a poor judgment call. For you, it's revealing something that you've kept to yourself. And it has to do with either being ready for a relationship or already in a relationship, possibly having gone into another relationship. 
this is all affecting the connection and the connection itself is clear as mud unfortunately there's lack of communication lack of clarity avoidance on your side feeling stuck and unhappy on their side let's look at the outcome there's a need for healing on your side Libra I can see that um, there's a need for clarity on their side and healing so both of you need healing I can tell you that your person is very confused right now. All right, we have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Mm. Yeah, both of you need healing. You're both unbalanced. Um, your person's lacking in clarity entirely. You have a lot of thoughts swimming around your head, a lot of emotions. Um, both of you, nine of swords, both of you are up in your head. Both of you are likely losing sleep. There's tears, there's anxiety, there's unhappiness here um, for both of you in this, in this state of being. Uh, there's something very toxic here in, in your energy, Libra. You definitely have a very, very strong attraction to this person. Um, I, I can, it's palpable. There's an extremely strong attraction you have to this person. You actually put them a little bit on a pedestal and you, you do have feelings for them. I can see it. Um, but there's something toxic about it. And it has to do with something that you want to reveal to them that you haven't you're trying to decide if you should for them they're very confused very confused about this they're trying to figure out what's taking place but they're shut down emotionally they're shut down they feel that they waited for a message from you they waited for you to open up they waited for you to come forward with an offer of some sort and you never did and they've given up on that they feel that for them to come forward is a poor judgment call and so they they're giving up on this connection their heart is closed um, they still want to talk to you though so there's a strong connection here uh, <laughs> bottom of the deck is the page of wands in the reverse that lack of communication it's just a total lack of communication here. You know what? Let's do this, uh, Libra. I don't normally do this, lift, but because there's so much about communication, I'm going to pull just a few cards. Um, let's see if this if this person could tell you what they wanted to tell you. What would they say? Let's see if anything comes out. If Libra's person could tell them what they wanted to say, what, what would it be? Let's see what came out. Let's see. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. I've thought a lot about you lately. So this is either Libra's messages to the cross watcher or this is the cross watcher's messages to Libra. Take it as it resonates. I'm a better person because of you. This really sounds more like Libra because you're the one Libra that's been up in your head, but it could be the cross watcher simply because they definitely desire to communicate and they're pulling back on that. All right, I'm going to pull a few oracle cards. So this person is thinking a lot about you. Um, I don't know. Pulling for Libra. Pulling for Libra. Okay. 
All right, Libra, let's see what we have. So for you, we have Peacock. Raise your standards. So there's something here to do with you raising your standards. Okay. For your person, we have Legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Okay. Learn from those who inspire you. And for the connection itself. Oh, interesting. We have new beginnings. Begin your new life. So is it time to have a new beginning here, Libra? Um, I don't know. Your person here is giving up. You're locked in fear. If you want this new beginning, somebody has to do something. So... I hope this has been helpful. If you would like and share the video, it will help with the uh, YouTube algorithm and I would appreciate that. If it's resonated with you, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you wanna drop a comment, feel free to do so. I actually read all of them. And until I see you in the monthlies, namaste.